Well, it's a new year and I'm starting it out with a new place. Now, I've tried to come here a few times when I've been down in the area and it's always been closed. To be honest, it kind of looks closed now, <laughs> but it says open. So let's go in and check it out. I'm really excited about this day. I'm down in the Richmond area. I'm kind of off the beaten path. Um, now I am gonna try and be super picky because I'm trying to pack in a bunch of places. I've been on staycation for the past two weeks and it is approaching my favorite time of year, which is Valentine's Day. So hopefully they got their Valentine's Day stuff out because you know that's what I'm looking for. This place is crazy packed, magical. I don't even know <laughs> what I'm looking at. Like what, what is this? Oh my gosh. Well, I don't really do paper stuff, but if I did, this is definitely where I would wanna go. Oh my gosh, look at this. The majorette pinnacle postcard. So neat. Oh, oh Dion Quintuplets. This place is so neat. I can't lie, I've only made it a couple feet. Um, this place is packed with super unique items. Like this box of Victorian straps, scraps, like old tobacco cards and stuff. Oh, I could spend a lot of time going through that. And I love all their costume jewelry. I love this rhinestone stuff. I used to wear it um, and I would get like this terrible rash because I'm super allergic to nickel. I would pick stuff like that up, but I feel like a lot of people are allergic to nickel. This is so cool. I love this Scotty dog pin. Okay, I know I said I was gonna be picky, but I see like a bunch of weird stuff that I'm super into. Like for example, these mugs. Those are kind of hilarious. They're $8 each. Now I've picked up stuff like that in the past and it's usually taken a while to sell. Now what I can't help but notice is this uh, fuzzy head guy playing the guitar. He's got a super repaired neck though. Otherwise I would be interested in that. The past couple ones of those I've picked up have unfortunately been super repaired. Um, I always get so excited to see fuzzy ceramics. Sometimes I forget to check them for their quality. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening here? Okay, first of all, this autograph dog. It's a vinyl one. We love vinyl oil plush. Is this its tag? Please be its tag. I'm assuming that's its tag, right? Yeah, because the bed's got a tag. $10? This guy's spectacular. Oh, no, $30. Just kidding. He does have a tag on him. But 50% off. So $15? Hmm, I kind of feel weird leaving him here. Let me make sure I'm reading this sign right. Yeah, 50% off, except items with green highlights. Okay, so this guy looks like he's 50. Oh my gosh, I'm just now looking around me. What is happening? Like, what is this? This is hilarious. It's a little bit newer than things I usually buy, but still, it's kind of fun. The it's definitely uh, been open though now that I look at it again. Oh my gosh, look at the freaking frog. What? Froggies? This is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Well, it's five dollars. I, I kind of love this. Oh, I, I can already feel myself going back on my uh, being super picky. That is very cool but a little out of my price range for resale. What really has my attention is this incredibly strange duck. He has seen better days for sure. He's got um, a hole in his head, but I kind of love him. He's $10. I feel like he might need a home. <laughs> Maybe I'm being strange. Well, of course I'm being strange, but how strange am I being is the question. I'm gonna hold on to him. Oh my gosh, look at the little cowgirl outfit. That is so stinking cute. Oh, I wonder how well that would sell. It's so spectacular. 
What's happening here? Dick Tracy. Oh, made in China. All right, what's the poodle in the box? Oh, it's a white one. So it was like pink or something. I might look at it, um, look into it, but I don't really like battery toys. I love the graphics on the Mr. Bubbles box too. A little, <laughs> look at this funny. Hmm, he's missing something. Uh, oh, oh, it's it. It's the berries. Get well soon. That's so cute. Unfortunately, it's super broken. Is that Mr. M Snickerbocker? Interesting. Huh. Oh my gosh, look at that cat pull toy. We have to see how much that is. We have to see that. Oh, hold on. So this thing is pretty spectacular. Unfortunately, it is missing its tag. So I'm gonna put it back. Oh my gosh, this bike is so cool. I love anything with the glitter vinyl. Wow, these paper mache clowns are wild. Oh my gosh. But wait, what's happening in this case? This is so freaking cool. Um, the Cupid doll? How much is she? She looks very expensive. Uh, well, I guess I can look at some of the others and get a good, yeah, it's probably pretty pricey, a lot of these. Are, um, definitely on the expensive side. What is that journal thing? I've kind of calmed down and looked at the condition of this autographed dog a little bit better. I think I might hold out. I'm gonna put it back and uh, see what else there is since I've only made it down one aisle so far. Oh my gosh, I love the bench. That is so neat. I love the head base. Um, what really caught my attention though is, uh, I know there's a lot going on in here, but this flamingo planter, unfortunately, it's 55 even with 20% off. That is retail for sure. But there's so many unique things in here and like weird stuff too, which is really what I'm here for. The little candy cigarettes, so cute. Now, I've bought in wax figures like this before. Um, they are really sketch to ship and keep in my office, to be honest. I had one on my desk for a long time and I broke it in the move. It's kind of hard not to, so I'm gonna let that go. It's pretty fabulous though. Well, unfortunately, I've caught a glimpse of something I really want for myself. And it's almost just as expensive as I thought it was gonna be, $525. That is not wrong, to be honest. If I hadn't done something like that once, I would probably do it here. Um, this is quite spectacular too. 125, I feel like it's super fair. That is a really unique piece. Yeah, that's, that's really hard to walk away from. Thank God it's that much money. I'm also really into this little chenille lady. She looks like maybe potpourri underneath can't tell. Whoa, talk about stimulating. All right, let's, um, gosh, I don't even know where to look. I'm trying to read the sign, but I can't stop looking at stuff. 50% off cat. So Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas merchandise. All right, let's see if we can find something here. Um, well, I accidentally skipped that booth because I know I'm not on Avon, but those are really neat. Um, okay, down here. <clears throat> this is not a sale booth, but still, that one's $8. Is that what that says? Yeah. It's kind of cute. I've had it a few times, though. I'm trying to stay away from things I've had before, unless they sell super quick. Oh my gosh. This thing is so funny. <laughs> but $14 is uh, definitely about what I'd sell that for too. All right, this booth is 20% off. I'm really loving this little um, bottle here. Huh. And this is kind of strange too. Plastic baby. It's a unique size. The pickles I've had before, this is cute. I said I'm being super picky especially because this is only my first stop of the day and I've already seen so many unique things let's see what is this 
weird mug. But the mouse is cute, but the mug is uh, $5. Merry Christmas. That's kind of fun. It's got a chip though. Oh, I love these earrings. How did I not see this guy? The Jack in the Box squeak. Ashland, 12 bucks. That's probably pretty close to what I'd get for that after fees. What is this? All's well that ends well. Japan. Oh, but of course there's no price on it. Uh, dang, that stinks. I would love to get that. These are really strange. Mr. Christmas paper mache lollipops. Oh, can't really do anything with that price though. These are kind of fun. Candle holders. Ooh, I'm dirty. Yeah, I've seen stuff like that before. It's usually pretty pricey. I don't know enough to, about it to uh, comment properly. This over here has caught my attention. What is this? Oh my gosh. Nursery rhyme. Oh, wait, I have to get this off. Hold on, let me get my camera. Uh, put my camera down. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is really, really spectacular. Um, it's $12 and then 15% off. It's in pretty good condition for that material, which is usually pretty ripped and torn. I've never seen anything remotely close to this. It's pink, it's all there. And we are definitely gonna get this. That is quite a find. So I'm kind of trying to check out these miniature plastic uh, fruits and veggie things with the googly eyes here. It says 35 cents each. I think I'm gonna get them to open the case and get the whole bag. Um, they're very strange. I'll send, sell them as a bag lot. I've never seen ones quite like it and things with googly eyes are just amazing. And anthropomorphic fruit stuff usually sells pretty well. So they were actually little rubber fruit and they had strawberries and grapes and oranges. It was so cute. It ended up coming to $2.10 for the whole bag. So I grabbed it. I'll show it off in my unboxing. I like the vibe of this booth. Oh, love the telephone. That's fun. This fire department jacket is quite fabulous. Also this hat, I cannot help but notice. 18, that's quite a spectacular lamp. Dusty. Um, what are these? Eighteen fifty, handmade. Eighteen fifty each. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those. Fun though. I always like looking for uh, different knee huggers. These are kind of neat. Candle holders. Little Santa pin. So cheap. Hmm. That looks like sterling, honestly. And is this a home run? Where do they know what it is? 45. Actually, that's not a bad price. Is there a discount? Oh, I'm really tempted to get this. Wait, look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. Oh, she's got little ladybugs. It's Josef Originals. Who's that for originals? I'm gonna look that up. I've never seen that one before. She looks super desirable. So, unfortunately, I don't have service in here, so if I want to look it up, I'm gonna have to go outside. $45 really isn't a bad price for this guy, um, but it's a little too close, I think, than I'd like. And of course, this monkey's fabulous, but he's 44. I'm still gonna try and look that up. I'm gonna try and find a spot that has service in here, um, but also this jacket. Wait, it's like a whole suit thing? What is happening here? This is so weird. I have to, I have to investigate this, hold on. Well, I definitely uh, <laughs> have expensive taste. I'm gonna put this back. This is kind of strange. <laughs> These old Santa boxes are amazing. Oh, they have such incredible incredibly unique paper products here. I really can't remember the last time I saw something of this quality. I mean, it's also the stuff that I'm interested in. A lot of the times when I see paper, it's um, more political or, you know, Petroliana. Like, look 
look at this. Oh, so cute. So there's a lot of cute toys, like this one. Oh my gosh, how cute. But the discount's only with cash or check and it's still a little close after that. What is happening down here? Oh my gosh, those are so fun. So I did end up finding uh, the Flower Girl series um, online. Now, I was not mistaken, this definitely is worth more than $25. Uh, it looked like the average price was around 38, 39 bucks. She's $25, I do believe she'd sell pretty quick. I wouldn't be able to make that much money off of her, but since she seems pretty collectible and kind of right up my alley, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I won't make that much money on her, but I kind of feel weird leaving her behind. But also, what is this pink sparkly thing? Oh, it's just some fabric. It's really incredible though. I don't need that. All right, let me move on. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna grab her. It's a pretty good deal. So I found some pretty unique items. Uh, no Valentine's Day, but that's fine. Like I said, I'm trying to be super picky. I'm really glad I didn't cheap out and I got that Josef Originals girl. I think she'll sell pretty well. Um, I'm gonna look at a map. I kind of already know where I'm going. I just don't know how to get there. So uh, I'll see you guys uh, at the next stop. <laughs> <laughs>